Hello everyone, Frozen Course here, and welcome back to some more Tag Force 6. Last episode, we did Zone Story and found out that his whole plan was a little cocky. Was a little cock, uh, all fucked up. Uh, this week, we are going to uh, finish up the rest of the stories with Akiza, Luna, Leo, and I think you say. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. We only have four more stories left, and that's gonna be it. I mean, I'm sure I'll probably do like some other stuff like maybe stream me doing all the challenges because i believe that's the only way of getting one of the last card packs in the shop so we might do that you know off chance maybe after bioshock or something like that but uh yeah if you're enjoying this series you want to see more be sure to like down below and subscribe if you haven't already okay new week new deck i decided since i know akiza uses psychic types when she's in her dual academy uniform I decided I should make a psychic deck. I did try it a few times with her. It's a very, I, hmm, I don't know, it's very hit and miss. Uh, so here's what I'm working with. I am working with Destructotron, two Esper Girls, Genetic Woman, three Hushed Psychic Clerics, uh, Karibons, two Mental Seekers, one Mind Master, one overdrive teleporter, two psi blockers, a psi commander, a reinforced human psychic borg, uh, three serene psychic witches, uh, two silent psychic wizards, and that's about it for monsters. For spells, we have Book of Moon, three brain research labs, a dark hole, emergency teleport, giant grenade, miracle synchro fusion, uh, monster reborn, one for one. A uh, pot of avarice and two terraformings. For traps, we have two brain hazards, one mind over matter, psychic overload, solemn judgment, torrential tribute, and yeah, that's about it. For extra deck, we have Naturia Exterio, Ultimate Axon Kicker, Ancient Fairy Dragon, Black Rose Dragon, Brawniac, uh, two Hyper Psychic Blasters, Mist Worm, uh, Naturia Barkalon, and Naturia Beast. Stardust and uh, two Thought Real Large Fiends, Trishula, and Magical Android. So that's pretty much the whole deck. As I said before, it, it's very hit and miss. I, I don't. Maybe I just need more practice with it. But from the practices that I've done so far, it really. It, it kind of works, it kind of doesn't. I tried looking up different recipes online. There's nothing. Like, Tag Force 6 does not have any sort of guides or anything like that in terms of like making decks and stuff and it's kind of sucks um especially because now this game actually been fully translated properly yeah it just it's unfortunate whatever chorus good morning are you up yet what you're still sleeping but that's fine it's not a matter of haste I'm sure Chorus will be up soon. <laughs> Are you up now? Okay, Chorus, I wanted to do something with you today. How about we go someplace together? But uh, no. That's just... She's just off. She just up rips. Just ask me. To be blunt, this is for a dual ac academy assignment. I have to do a tag duel. Of course, I could partner up with a student from the academy, but... In the past, I heard a lot of people here at dual academy. Still, there are some really nice people here that would be willing to help me out. So, if I were to ask, they might simply accept me. But I'm still too afraid to ask. That's why I was hoping I could count on you to be my partner, Chorus. Of course, if that's alright with you. I hope I'm not a burden. Aww. Okay, let's go over here. Aww. Today's dual opponents are... Akiza Yoohoo! Oh. Oh, so will you guys be our opponents then? Akiza, I love you so much! Uh, excuse me? I said, I love you! Where did that come from all of a sudden? They do say that love happens suddenly. Yeah, but thanks, I guess? I like you too. But you're mistaken. Uh-oh. Your liking is just on the level of classmates, isn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, that's what we are after all, right? You might say I feel impulsive. But I'm not saying that I just like you as a classmate, you know. Well, that's... 
It might be scandalous for me to say this, but I love Akiza. I want you. I want to be your lover. Oh, whoa, hey, whoa. <laughs> oh no, poor Akiza. Right, Ray Ray? Yeah, that's how I see you as well. In terms of everyone we've met in our lives, you're the best. In other words, I love you. <laughs> so stop it. What's the matter with you two all of a sudden? So, let's prove our love through a duel. I don't exactly understand what's going on, but I'll agree to it. In this duel, we'll be able to learn about each other. This should surely deepen our love. Dueling allows one to understand their opponent in a special and meaningful way. Okay, okay, we'll accept your duel. Are you all set, Chorus? Oh, that was weird. I feel like I shouldn't be one to watch all this. I feel like I should leave <laughs> those two alone. Maybe I shouldn't. Uh, that's weird. All right, big test number one. Hopefully this, hopefully this will work. I, I think. Alright, so we're dealing with a zombie deck and... Oh! Oh, magical spellcasters. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Oh boy. I, I played a deck like this before. That was it was kind of fun. Very micromanagey because you really have to keep an eye on those spell counters and stuff. But once you have them, you can you you're practically invincible. Well, almost. You just really got to protect that uh that field spell. But once you get uh Oh my lord, this is going to take forever. But once you're able to, like, uh... Once you're able to use all those spell cards, you'll be able to bring out, like, Dark Magician and use Dark Magician's, like, spell cards to, like, pop the field and stuff like that. Or bring out Dark Eradicator Warlock. Oh, this is taking forever. Oh my... Oh my lord. She just really wants to get all of her drawing. Oh, I can finally do- I can finally go? <laughs> ah, I see. Um, hmm, and I was gonna sit there and- I was gonna sit there and destroy that- destroy a whole field with Dark Hole, hmm. Hmm. Let's do this. I guess I... No, I can't really attack, can I? Hmm. Uh... I mean, I could, but... Yeah, you know what, fuck it. Oh, of course you do. Breaker. Ew. Well. 
I'll just bring it back. Let's go for that. And go for Serene Psychic Witch. set two of these and then do this and I'm in my turn man maybe I need more tuners maybe that's what I need I don't know oh boy and I'm just gonna put all the spell counters on that thing Okay. Yeah, that gets destroyed. Ooh. That's a steep price. Jeez. Because now Akiza can easily can't go for the kill. Yeah, that was a, maybe a little too risky. Or maybe not. Alright, maybe she didn't have maybe she didn't have what she was what she needed, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, that was a heart. She made a heart. How do you draw with a to make a heart like that? Whatever. Ah. What are you gonna do? Bring back the malevolent mech? Yeah, okay. Figures. Why is she putting... Well, I know why. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem like I can do much. I mean... Hmm... I guess I could just use this. And then... I'll use this. Oh, what am I doing? I don't really have to do this. I really didn't have to use Brawniac, to be honest with you, but that's okay. Easy peasy. There we go. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Hell, I think I could have just attacked them with the regular monsters, but that's okay.
We win. Aw oh, man, we lost. But I'm sure I've conveyed my love to Akiza through this duel. <laughs> it was such a fun duel because of my love for you, Akiza. And also your love for me. H hey, is that that I'm unhappy that you like me so much? But when you shower me with that much affection, well... <laughs> it was a really enjoyable duel. Thank you, Akiza. Chorus. Oh, well, we had fun too. Thank you. See you later, Akiza. I love you! Love you. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. Alrighty. My, I'm not sure what was that about. But it seems there are people who feel that way about me. It made me happy. I assume the students at Duel Academy didn't think well of me. But there are people who say they, that they like me. I'm so glad to have friends. Not just you, Chorus. And not just you, say, or... And my other signer friends. But I'm glad that I've been able to start making new friends on my own now. Aw, yay! Oh, that makes me so happy. Good morning, Chorus. You're not going to sleep the whole day, are you? Come on, get up! Are you awake now? I wanted to go shopping with you today. If you're not busy, of course. Great! <laughs> but we might need to fix your hair first and wash your face. Then we can head out. <laughs> It's been so long since I went shopping, uh, out shopping in town. So, what do you want to look at? Hmm, let's see. I did run out of food, so why don't we pick us some dinner? There are a few things I need to buy. Maybe I'll find something nice while searching the stores. If I get the impulse to buy something, can you tell me if I should really buy a chorus? And you can help me choose between colors if I can't decide myself. Besides, you wouldn't mind carrying the bag, would you? <laughs> oh, that store over there. Mind if we take a look? Hey, Chorus, which of these would look good on me? Oh, so you like that one? Then I'll think about it. I really like this one, so I'm going to buy it. But do you think the color's alright, Chorus? What's that? You think this color goes better? Yeah, I think you're right. Hey, Chorus, you always wear the same clothes. Why don't we get you something new, too? You can pick out anything you want. It'll be my way of thanking you. Why not try getting a new hat? Hey, hey, leave the hat. <laughs> what are you getting flustered for? Come on, don't be shy. What is happening? Ah, it's a Kisa and Chorus. Are you two here on a date? It sure looks like they're on a date. What? No, it's not like that. This isn't a date. Oh, really? You two were having so much fun together. I just assumed it was a date. Sorry I jumped to conclusions. It's fine. So, you're shopping today? Yeah, although we aren't looking for anything in particular. We were just looking at a few stores together. And if there was something I needed or really wanted, I'd just buy it. Oh, and I just bought some clothes after course and I agreed on the color. <laughs> What's wrong? Isn't it obvious? Yeah. What you just described, isn't that a typical date? Uh huh? No, you're mistaken. We were just going shopping together. Yeah, just shopping. So it was a shopping date then. <laughs> Aww. I think it doesn't mean that you have to do this or go there. If the two of you have a good time together, it doesn't matter if it's at an amusement park or while you're shopping. That's a date. Like I said, this isn't a date. If you say it like that, you're going to make Chorus sad. Why don't you say anything, Chorus? Chorus doesn't seem to be... Doesn't seem to have any comment. Jeez. I've got it. What is it now? If Akiza's on a date with Chorus, why not go on a date with me? Wh wh why would you? Why? Because I love you, Akiza. Oh boy, here we go again. Jeez, what are you saying? Don't you like me? No, that's not... Do you hate me? Come on, that's not what I meant. It's just that I get flustered when you put me, on, put me on the spot like that. Okay, then how about going on a date with me? I can't do that either right now. Oh, why not? We just really want to go on a date with you. Yeah! What's the matter? Even though you're saying it's not a date, you can't get Chorus out of your mind, can you? I is that true? Can't you see that our love for you is stronger than his? What? Oh no. Why don't we have a duel to see whose love for Akiza is the strongest? What are you two talking about? But I'll never turn, turn down a challenge. Hey, Chorus, are you ready? Let's do it. Oh no, is this what this whole story is? Just being the most popular girl in school now? 
from most feared to most popular. Well, skillless deck. Oh no. Does that mean she runs skill drain? Oh no. Oh no. That's exactly what it sounds like. Either that or she just likes using normal type monsters. What is this story? This feels like a this feels like an Alexis scenario too, where everyone just loves Alexis and wants to date her. No, Elemental Hero Stratos? That's like... That's like the bread and butter. What? You're not summoning... you not summoning Stratos is kind of wild. Not gonna lie. I get it. <laughs> that that sound effect. Oh, she has a. Oh, she's using mask heroes. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of that's kind of wild. That's actually not bad, actually. What's that, magic android? Yeah. It's all yeah. Damn, she's going ham. What the hell? Is she gonna use Thought Ruler? Yeah, okay, that's her. That's the Ace Monster. And then we gain experience points from like the difference because I can attack. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Damn, that was insane. Although we didn't do any life point damage at all. <laughs> uh. Oh, smashing ground? Hmm. Okay. All oh, that for nothing? Alright. Actually, I should have done Giant Trinade first, but that's okay. Actually, I should do that now. Before I start losing life points. I should have did that first. That's okay. I think we should be fine. Um. Set you. Activate your effect. Um. Summon. Oh, wait, you flips to defense position.
then summon you. Activate emergency teleport. So I can bring out you. So I can bring out my ace monster, which will be uh Hyper Psychic Blaster. Activate Hush Psychic to bring back Thought Ruler to the field. And let's time to battle. Let's swing. Ooh! <laughs> That's a lot of damage, buddy. That's a lot of damage. Necro Valley. Ooh. And then I gain that life points. Ooh, delicious and delicioso. And then we swing for 2700. Not bad, not bad, and that's the end of my turn. Cooking, I, 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 I had a, I had, a, I had a good idea. Why are you moaning, lady? Please don't moan. I do not want to get demonetized. My first demonetization because <laughs> of anime moans, <laughs> which is funny because I don't think I've gotten demonetized for Honey Pop either, which is kind of funny. I only did one character, but that was like. All right, Akiza. Let's bring it home. I think the problem with this psychic deck is that it really relies on not having a back row. Like, the opponent not having a back row. Because of shit like that. So I feel like I have to figure out a way to sit there and maybe have something like Imperial Order. Maybe something like that. Maybe that'll help. There's not a lot of support for... For, for Psychic Monsters. There's not a lot of support, it seems. Not yet, at least. Ooh. <laughs> Ow. Okay, that's Call of the Haunted, definitely. Um, oh, I only have one? Shit. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna... Yeah, we can't do anything. Are you kidding me? Uh. Yeah, I figured as much. Another heat? Ew. Okay, we're gonna do that. Oh, of course you have dark bright. Oh, you've gotta be fucking kidding me. Uh, at least I get to draw another card, I suppose. Excuse me? What's that, Gem Knight Per- oh, Utopia. I guess that fits a hero deck, I suppose. Oh, uh, come on, we had them on the ropes. Don't tell me we're gonna fuck this up now. Like, come on, man. Ooh. So, I guess she knows that this thing is going to get destroyed, like, one shot. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's going to get destroyed. But now we can bring out the hypersonic blaster. Oh my lord, I hate back row so much. And the fact that this deck does not really 
both our decks does not seem to have any sort of back row removal. It's kind of a pain in the ass, not gonna lie. Because you could just easily use Torrential and then you're, you're, and you're fucked. Uh, let's do this. Come on out, Psychic Witch. I guess that's where Psy Blocker comes in. Because with this, I can sit there and make sure no one use... You can't use the name of the effect. So what I'm going to do is call for Mirror Force. Sorry, I have to speed this up because it's going to take forever to scroll. Mirror Force. And then let's go for the attack. What? Oh, you bastard. You could negate shit. Maybe I should have did that. Okay, well, can't attack. That's okay. But we're still in the game. Unless it destroys the side blocker, which is probably what's gonna happen. Oh, yeah. Oh, no! Are you kidding? Oh. Yeah, she doesn't have any more heroes, so she can only use that effect. Oh, boy. What's that, Absolute Zero, I think? Oh no, it's Great Tornado. Excuse me? <sighs> well, yeah, I think we lost this one. <sighs> Fuck's sake, man. Yeah, I'm adding Mirror Force on my shit, because this is stupid. Okay, we're back. I did it. I beat him. Oh, man, that was actually a lot. Yeah, I think before I summon my ace psychic monster, I think what I'm going to do is make sure I have Stardust on deck, just in case, because every time I try to, because as long as Stardust is on the field, they can't touch me with any destruction effects. If it's Dimensional Prison, we might have a problem. But other than that, if I can sit there and get you... If I can bring out Stardust first, that's my, I think that's my priority. She, Akiza can do whatever the hell she wants, but as for my priority is to bring out Stardust first, then do whatever I need to do to bring out like Axie and Kicker or anything like that. I think that's a better play for me. We won! Aw, oh, man, we lost after all. I guess the power of love trumps all. Like I said, you guys are mistaken. It wasn't a date. We were just going shopping together. Hmm. <laughs> well, either way. Don't forget that I still really love you, Akiza. Me too. Lots and lots. <laughs> Someday, I'll show you that my love for you is the greatest, Akiza. But since I lost today, we'll let you two get back to your cute little date. We'll get out of your way now. Break a leg. See ya. Have fun on your date. I don't know what those two are talking about. Chorus, thanks for going shopping with me. I'm glad we got this done. See you later. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, maybe subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.